Alrighty YouTubers, uh, I just want to give an update and show you that I'm just about done rigging out my Zcam E2C. I just did a battery upgrade on it to the NFP and this here is the adapter that I got and then I got the Canon dummy battery. Um, I don't think it's made by the same company. Now this one here and the Canon dummy battery was a little more expensive than what you could uh, find elsewhere. But it had the best review as far as plug and play. and You didn't have to modify anything or anything like that. But here's what it looks like. So I can get up on here. You can't really see it too well. But you got two regular USB ports here. You can charge like your cell phones or whatever. And I don't think you're going to be able to see it because of my long ass HDMI cables. But you got two ports back here. It looks like a micro USB C. And I can't see what that other one is. But, and the battery is a Tektar, if I'm pronouncing it right. Now, this battery, unlike my other three that I got, has a little button up here you can push and they light up with your four bars but what's neat about this here it's got it built into the adapter now it said it's really low battery drain but i haven't actually did a test yet i'm planning on this weekend if i don't have to work to do a test to see how long that one battery will last the monitor since this has only got one plug out i gotta run the battery for hit but uh this is the monitor my newer monitor it's a seven inch. I was gonna go with five inch. I put my five inch monitor on it. And I gotta say, I kinda actually like the seven inch a little better for this uh, camera rig. Now on my Blackmagic Pocket Center camera 4K all rigged out, I like the five inch one better. And then the bracket don't take up much room. Oh, I did have to order one of these, uh, I don't know, hooks onto the bottom of your 15 millimeter rails to mount that. But yeah, I can even push that up a little closer if I wanted to. But my, I only got a few more things left to get for this. I want to get my uh, T5. But I was noticing these two little uh, points here. Not this one in an earlier video I did. Uh, this one I think was misdrilled because it won't take the threads very well. These two here look to be about the same space as what's on my uh, Magic Rig. And this is a small rig cage that holds my Samsung T5 to the cage. So I'm going to take test that this weekend, take that off my uh, mounting bracket off my Blackmagic Pocket Center Camera 4K and see if that mounts up on that. If it does, then I'm going to order that mount and then I'll be able to just slide my T5 right in there and won't have to go with that universal squeezy clamp, whatever the heck that thing is. And we're good to go. But yeah, yeah, I don't got my antenna on it because I'm not broadcasting. You really don't need the antenna on it if you got your phone or tablet or whatever really close to you or fairly close to you, I'd say. I think I was able to get like 15 feet from it and it was still broadcasting the signal. And my Miki lens. And this is this here is all small rig. I couldn't find a Magic Rig, which is the copy of small rig for the E2C Z Cam. So I just went ahead and got the original uh, small rig. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you my battery mod I did to it. This one's straight plug and play. You don't have to modify anything or splice and solder wires. It just snap the dummy battery in, plug it in there, put your battery in, you're done. Pretty easy. Uh, like I said, it was a little more expensive than some of the other ones. But, you know, I get what you pay for, so. I went with the more expensive route and hopefully I'll have no problems out of it. And it like I said, plugged right in, worked the first time, nothing to modify. All right, thanks.